Good morning and welcome to krcims.com. I want to show you one of my favorite tools that I have, and that's a uh, Panther Plotter Vinyl Cutter. And basically, it's one of the things I got set up in my shop for doing stencils on painting, sandblasting, uh, laying out for doing plasma cutting. This, this by far, save has been the biggest time saver tool that I've ever purchased, and I just, I just love it. I've got it set up to my laptop, which makes it convenient to, to take out to the shop and hook up very easily and run off a few stencils. And I'm just going to basically show you real quick how I make the stencils. So I set it up in the program, and uh, set off my uh, center lines there. Okay. And then I send it off to the printer, starts to cut it, or excuse me, the plotter. Okay, here I take a straight line. I got a piece of glass down here instead of just a, a basic table that's glass. It's the easiest way to do it. And then I'll square up that one corner with, uh, with my T-square. Cut the excess off of that. And then in this photo here, I'm putting my transfer tape on. Notice how I got it set up, up for over here, and then I'll press this down, and that'll actually s go on top of the actual vinyl there. Okay, now I've pulled out, you can see where I've pulled out the lettering on this one from the vinyl, and this one I actually pulled the vinyl out so you can have two different styles here. This one could be used as a mast for sandblasting or this one can be used as a decal for putting on your windows, your doors, uh, whatever you want to put them on. A couple tools to, to even this out is just a, a straight edge plastic, straight edge uh, applicator for the transfer tape and this is more of a, a roller for flattening out, getting out the air bubbles and everything else. It works out quite well. Here I've set up for my center lines, so when I go to apply it to whatever I'm putting it on glass or a door or whatever, I've got my center lines of the actual lettering there on both of those. Now I split these up, cut off all the excess, and I'm about ready to apply it. Okay. On this particular case here, if I wanted to paint um, this particular sign on the door, what I can do is I just measure down from the top of the door to get the center line. You do that on both spots. And then you could tape the corners, use the hinge method to pull this transfer tape off, stick it on there, and then you can paint it. And this is the side view, so I can get the center of it that way. And basically that's what it is on the vinyl machine, but I can use that for just about anything that I want from, like I said, spray painting to actually putting signs on vehicles, magnetic signs, uh, I could uh, lay out designs for arc welding, I could actually, or I'm sorry, plasma cutting, I can cut it by spray painting those areas and then I've got a good line that I can use or I could trace it out with a black mar magic mark or whatever. But it works out really great. That's why it is one of my favorite toys. Thanks for watching and visit www.krcims.com for more information, tips, trips, tricks, and tools. Thanks for watching.